Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I wanted to bring you guys a quick video, and uh, I do mean super quick, on the Taurus Protector Poly. This one is in the zombie edition, or zombie model. Uh, it came with a black grip as well as the um, green grip, right? And this firearm uh, stock model comes black, which I think is far superior. Uh, so let's just get into this a little bit. Um, this gun is a polymer framed revolver because why the hell not? Uh, I purchased this firearm several years ago, probably seven years, maybe eight years ago. I remember featuring it on my old channel, um, and I did definitely buy this as a trolling gun. Um, a lot of people in the gun community, we have two types of people primarily. I mean, there's other types of people, right? I mean, every, in every hobby, you have so many different types of uh, of how do you say, uh, philosophies and mindsets and ideologies, right? And when it comes to gun people, there's two types. There is the traditionalist, and then there's the um, tactic cool people, or, or maybe that's maybe saying a little too much. Uh, traditionalist and basically, uh, I guess, people who are not so traditionalist, right? Um, more like utilitarian people, right? And I like to troll people, and I'm a uh, real steel type person. I don't like polymer framed weapons at all. Um, I much prefer a uh, steel or aluminum frame firearm. Uh, I'm starting to come around to the polymer stuff, um, and uh, I think my next gun I'm going to purchase is the Walther PK380 because it's polymer frame, it's a Walther, it's 380, so it's going to piss off everybody as well. That's why I bought this revolver. This not only pisses off the revolver type crowd, it also pisses off the Glock people. Because, well, why not? I like to do a little bit of trolling there. I never will buy a polymer framed weapon, and here I did. I bought this like eight years ago or whatever, right? So before we start getting into the actual controls of the firearm, let's go ahead and clear the weapon. Um, yeah, I think this needs to be cleared, huh? Um, for those of you who are afraid of getting shot, through a camera, through the internet, through your TV or device. Wow, just, I don't understand how you tie your shoes in the morning. So, uh, let's go ahead and clear the weapon. That simple, right? So, weapon is cleared, and uh, we can now commence on handling the firearm. So, Again, this is a polymer frame revolver. This is, again, the zombie edition, right? And this is the protector poly. So, as you can see here, this is a white polymer frame with the metal inserts. So you can see where the parts that need to be metal is metal, obviously. And the parts that don't need to be are not. Cool. So, the... Uh, a firearm here is very lightweight for a revolver, super lightweight. I wanted something that was uh, a revolver, but at the same time, you know, I was into the whole zombie thing. It's still kind of them. I think uh, nobody wants to admit that they are, but they, they still are, right? So here's your sight picture. You know, it's it's a snub nose. It's going to have a shitty sight picture, but it's not that bad, right? It's kind of doable. Uh, obviously, um, it is a double action, single action. So pulling the trigger does two things. In this mode, we're pulling back the hammer and then dropping the hammer, right? So we, if you wanted to do a single action, we go ahead and move back the hammer then deploy the trigger, right? And I, I will say, this gun is very satisfying to shoot in single action. Even double action isn't that bad. The trigger is consistent, so you can get used to shooting it, right? And um, the controls are, you know, if you handle one, like, type of revolver, like the Smith & Wesson type revolver, it, you pretty much know how to run almost every revolver on the planet, right? It's not that hard. We move the the release here, push the cylinder out. We have the ejection here. I mean, everybody knows how to run a revolver, right? So um, we have some interesting knurling right here, which really does grab your uh, your your thumb there, so you can actuate that. 
we do have a safety mechanism that came with a key uh, so we can render the firearm inoperable. Um, this is, again, a Taurus. Uh, say what you will about Taurus, their revolvers are actually pretty freaking decent. Um, everyone wants to comment on, well, that's a cheap gun. And, and guys, grow up, really. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you... You pay for the weapon as long as you're not paying like 50 bucks for it i think you're good right um put rounds down range train with your weapon to make sure it actually works right before you start carrying it you know i didn't carry the the wall through day one right i i put rounds through it i made sure it worked and it does work that's what you're supposed to do you get proficient with the firearm while you're testing it anyways um we have a fiber optic sight for the front sight and this thing is dirty and I'm going to be honest with you there's like no way to clean this that I found I've tried different chemical solutions and, and trying to do that and it just it doesn't work right I don't know this thing's a fucking dirt magnet and it just it sucks right I, I hate this stupid revolver but I love it um I've been thinking about selling this but I'm going to be honest with you I, I do and buy stupid things and I'm going to miss this dumb thing so I'm, I'm kind of stuck with it. Uh, holsters are hard to find. Because of the polymer frame, it makes it extremely thick and fat, like me. So, uh, you know, it's a thick boy. It's light, but it's a thick boy. Um, I did find a holster company that makes holsters for the uh, Protector Poly and the, um, uh, that stupid model, what is it? The Taurus Judge that holds the 410 shotgun shell, 45 Long Colt. Um, this is the company that makes it. Uh, holsters. It's uh, a Zula gun holster company or whatever. Um, really cool holster. It was only like 60 bucks. It's form fitted to the gun. Like it's great stitching, great quality. You know, it's it's a really good holster. I mean, it it takes a lot to force it down, right? And it's just it's nice. And you can just slip this in, boom, and you have a holster for your weapon. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you can pocket carry this if you wanted to. Uh, I have a pocket carry holster for this. Uh, the gun is just stupid, I'm going to be honest with you, but <laughs> I like it. I wish it was black instead of white because, again, it's a fucking dirt magnet. Like, it's stained from the holster. It's stained from fucking Cheetos. It's stained from gunpowder. It's stained from, it's like oxidizing because, you know, fucking cigar smoke or some shit. It... <laughs> If you have the chance to buy the zombie model, fucking put it in a plastic bag. Or don't carry it. This thing is so stupid, right? Um, <laughs> uh, it's just one of those things. Uh, I, if I can go back, I would still buy this revolver, but I would go with a black one instead. Um, you know, but anyways, just a quick little overview of this revolver. I say it's stupid, but it's only because it's a zombie edition. If it wasn't, it, it would still be like really, really cool. Um, it's not very accurate to snub nose. Um, you know, I don't care if you have a, you know, like a, probably like a uh, Smith & Wesson or a uh, Colt snub nose. It's not going to be accurate. Um, none, I have never shot a uh, snub nose that is accurate. So, I mean, you're dealing with a two-inch barrel. Doesn't matter if it's a if it's a Gucci Glock, uh, not Glock, but a, a Gucci uh, Colt. It's just it's not gonna. It, it, it's a snub nose, right? I mean, you're shooting uh, thirty-eight special. This is the plus P. It's rated for plus P. You know, you're shooting, you know, this out of a two-inch barrel. It, it, it's it's not accurate, right? It's shoots like, you know, maybe two inches off. It's it's still. It's an up-close and personal weapon, you know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my ramble of this uh, little gun here. And um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy my stupid ramblings. Uh, if you don't, let me know. You know, give this video a thumbs down. You know, whatever you gotta do. Uh, drop me a comment. Troll me a little bit. Uh, I do enjoy a good trolling. So, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching.